Hello, survivalists, and welcome to Force of Nature, a game that came out back in 2016, in December, actually. And, um, yeah, according to Steam, I played about 20 hours of it, and the last time I played it was, well, three years ago, March of 2017 is the last time I played it. Uh, I've been seeing some updates on it. Um, I can now see there's like a multiplayer and beta, but... Um, I've already adjusted some settings. I played a little bit just a little while ago just to kind of get my feel back into the game. And uh, yeah, it's basically on survival, adventure, and all that fun stuff. So let's get right into it. Let's go. New game. Um, I'll just name this one YT because it's going on YouTube. And there are two different forms of games you can do. So you can do a general this game with hints and quests recommended for new players. Yeah. I, I kind of went into it and I kind of get it. But uh, we're going to go creative this game without restrictions, achievements, are disabled so we're gonna go over here press ok and now it's gonna make the world so basically if you do the one for new players basically you have to level up and as you level up you'll be able to build things as you go along and it'll unlock new things I think we're just gonna go really pure sandbox mode and kind of just get right into it because I kind of know the basics of the game but basically uh, like I was saying yeah if you want to do the level up process you got to build certain things before you can level up it's not really done on, uh, let's see, basically you got to complete a quest in order to level up. It's not actually done by experience or all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is my character. Right now, as far as I can see, only male characters uh, still. Um, yeah, my green hair and my blue shorts. Way to go. So there are a few things in here that you're going to see right away. Um, like I said, this game is on Steam for $7.99 US dollars. So here's where we spawn on a beach. We have no idea where we are. Um, if I hit the space bar, there's a ruby chip on the ground. I need that ruby chip to really start things off here for sure. There's a rabbit. So as you can see, I got a health bar, stamina bar. No food, no water per se. But that's all That's all good and dandy. So one thing about this game is, like you see foliage on the ground. Uh, you can't just walk through foliage. Uh, you need open ground to kind of walk through. So that's one thing. Um, while I'm going around, I should be picking up things. So I'm hitting left control. Left control will pick up anything loosely on the ground. Uh, strawberry wheat. Uh, splinters, banana. I'll pick those up. Pick those up. Alright. Let's jaunt over here. So I know the first thing I do need to build is a fireplace. So if I go in here... Uh, nope, not craft. Sorry, I don't want craft. Uh, I need a build. Construction. Bonfire. Um, I need sticks. So yeah, to build a, build a bonfire, uh, it says I need five sticks and I need a glowing ember or any gem chip, which we found a gem chip. Uh, the only way to get a glowing ember is to get some out of the fire. So of course you don't have a fire when you first start, so I thought they spawn a gem chip right next to you. So we need sticks. Uh, the other thing that is, I noticed you can't run in the game, which is still kind of weird to me. Uh, there's uh, three sticks. Four. You gonna give me another stick somewhere? Oh, I see a stick right over here. Coconuts and bananas are are key. So you're saying, well, if you know, if there's no food, then why do you need? If there's no uh, food indicator, why do you need food? Well, it regenerates your health or stamina back. So if I go back in my inventory, bananas, baby banana, it gives me 18 stamina in 20 seconds. I'll put that down on a hot bar and a coconut also gives us stamina. I'll put that there. Anyways, let's go ahead and construct ourselves a bonfire. Alright, let's go ahead and I think I'll just go ahead and let me pick that up here. Um, yeah, for now, yeah, we'll put it there. So that'll build up. The one thing I do like about this game is after you build something, if I go in here, I can click on move and I can move it without having to gather everything or destroy it. So if I go, like, move, I can click on the bonfire and now, like, move it over here. Oops. And now it'll deconstruct the, the fire there and then move it over here. You don't have to rebuild it. Um, never cancel, as you're building something, never cancel it because then you won't get all your material back either. So things that I need, uh, definitely I'm going to need a stone axe. So if I go to Stone Axe, you can see I need a stick, I need rope, and I need a splinter. I have, an, I have a splinter, but I requ it requires a knife to build it. 
All right, so let's uh, close that out. So let's build a knife first. Uh, I need a splinter and rope. Well, okay, we need rope. Um, so I need palm leaves. Well, I can I can go ahead and select the rope now. Uh, okay, and let's go ahead and create a piece of rope, and then take all. Um, now I can build a knife. Perfectly. So there are many things to do, and you're probably wondering, okay, well, are there are there creatures that can attack you, kill you? Yes, there are. There are goblins. There are goblins about. Um, but we don't have to worry about them for a while because they really can't get to us. We're kind of we're kind of enclosed in here right now. They they're the same thing. They can't go through uh, bushes and trees and such stuff like that. Uh, I was just looking around, just trying to see. Well, I do got stone over there. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I want to get a stone axe. I need stick, and I need, need, need some rope. All right. Um, can I use... Use an axe or kick it with... Oh, wrong. So I need uh, to kick it. So I need more rope in order to get myself an axe. And once I get myself an axe, uh, life will be a little bit easier. So... Some people might say it's a little grindy at first. You gotta gather stuff. I mean, if you just float it up on an island, of course you're not gonna have no materials. So you have to slowly, slowly gather materials. And once you start building things and gathering materials, uh, let me go ahead and make some more rope here. Select. Uh, we'll use a knife now because this is the thing. So before I was using a splinter to make rope. It takes four seconds. With a knife, it only takes two seconds. So the more better equipment you build, the faster it is to create things. So if I go in the building, I go to constructions. These are the things that we can kind of build. We're already about the bonfire. A coal smoker, blast furnace anvil, yada yada. Portals, houses, uh, farming for gardening, uh, chest, tables, lamps, bigger seed beds, a mill, um... You got, uh, oh, I got to cancel it. You got decorations. Got gravel, fence lines. A whole bunch of stuff we can get into that we're going to need to get into, I should say. Okay, so back in here, I need, I wanted a stone axe. So I have enough. Oh, I, uh, I, don't, I didn't grab the rope yet. And I need a stick. I need another stick. Uh, is it these trees right here? Hopefully a stick falls. Give me a stick. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Stone axe. Uh, select. All right. Give me a stone axe. That way I have to kick things. So you can see my stamina goes down. And I have to wait for it to regen. Slowly. Um, is there levels here? What do I have to do to get the next level? Also, I still have to build things to get levels, huh? So by getting levels, so you can see my character, my health dent regeneration and stamina regen is at point two. So we will get the level, go back to characteristics. Now I regen a little bit more health and a little bit more uh, stamina per second. Um, so now I need to to get next level. I need to do all these things right here, which is not too hard to do. Uh, but anyways, whoops, where is my stone axe? Let's cancel that out. Take that, and I'm going to put my stone axe on bar number two. Because eventually I want to build a weapon. Um, what weapon do I want to build here? Is it stone mace? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm used to doing it by leveling up. Now, now I can just build anything I want to. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the best line here that I want to go along. Um, stone mace. 20 damage in 0.36 seconds. Attack speed is 0.63. And... That's probably the what I want to go with, I think. Uh, either way, let me get my axe out. So the one thing I don't want to do is things don't respawn in the game either. So be careful of what you cut down. So 
in the beginning, like coconut trees, banana trees, I don't want to cut those down. But here, I do want to get plenty of ferns, so you can see that's much easier to get ferns. Three swipes and you have all the ferns, fern leaves, palm leaves. Now there are better axes, pickaxes, and all that stuff as you level up. Uh, you can build some out of copper. I think it's copper um, as we level up. And it takes less swings to chop things down. And it's one of those, one of those things when you first start off, yes, there's going to be a lot of gathering, a lot of building. Um, how much will I show you at the beginning? Uh, probably this first episode I'll show you probably everything. Just so you get an idea of what's going on. And then as we move along a little bit into the series. Uh, I don't know how much of the series we're going to play along. Uh, let's see how, see how the videos go on the channel here. But probably at least two or three episodes I think to give you guys a good idea. And see, uh, give you an idea if you want to follow along or not. And um, we'll just go from there. And then if not, then uh, well, I'll just play by myself <laughs> later on. Without bringing you guys along if you don't enjoy it. But um, I think uh, we'll at least do at least three or four episodes. I said two or three, now I'm saying three or four. So my stamina is getting kind of low. So like I said, what I can do is eat like a banana. So I eat a banana. You can see my stamina going up relatively a little bit faster. For a short period of time. So that's what I'm saying. I would not want to cut down the banana or coconut trees. So it's if I... No, 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 no. That's the wrong button. No, uh, uh, put your axe away, put the axe away, there we go, I want to kick it. I am getting a palm leaf, but come on, give me a coconut. And you know the tree won't give any more when it says please, uh, please use an axe or something. It doesn't mean it's going to give you something in every kick either. Alright, there's a coconut, there we go, just, just to show that point. Alright, so we got these trees here. I should get some logs and some sticks by cutting down this tree here. Because I need sticks and logs to go ahead and put into our bonfire so I can get embers. And there we go. Left control, I can pick up all that stuff. Let's head back to the bonfire and... The bonfire will open up more recipes. So if I hit the space bar... Uh, bonfire lights up. I click on that, and now I can go in here for recipes. I can, uh, as you can see, fish meat. So that means I can fish. Glowing ember, uh, fried fish. I can make jugs, melting pot, mortars. You know, a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, so I got six, six sticks. Let's go ahead and burn all those so I can get 18 embers. Because the next thing I want to build, I almost said, I almost want to buy, is a coal smoker. So what do we need there? I need logs. I need clay. I need sand. All right. So how do you get claw? Uh, claw, clay, clay and sand. I need a digging stick. Um, so I need a stick. So I need a stick to make a digging stick. So like these little bare spots on the ground, like you see this darker color. This will give you soil. Um, that copperish color will give you clay. And of course sand you get from the beach. And I see a stick right over here. How convenient is that? Alright, so if I craft a uh, digging stick. Give me a digging stick. So yeah, we can build houses. Uh, like I said, fence line. We can tame animals. Um, there are animals out there. But I like how when they give you a spawn point, they kind of give you where there's nothing around you for a while. So it gives you a chance to go ahead and build up your, your fortress, if you will. Alright, so I kind of forgot. What did I need to build a coal smoker? Uh, I need 10 clay, 15 sand. Alright. So it will take a while to dig with a stick to get your clay sand. Later on, as we level up, we'll be able to get a shovel, which, you know, be a lot quicker. That's what better tools do. Make things go a lot quicker. So I should also mention that the developer of this, they are working on Force of Nature 2. So it's basically the same uh, game design here, just more enhanced, more details. I do see that there's a, you can uh, do a female character. Um, the, uh, like the bonfires and everything else that you can build looks a lot better. It's just a upgraded Force of Nature game, if you will. 
Uh, I was trying to look to see for a timetable of uh, maybe when that game would be coming out. I'm not seeing anything yet. Like I said, I just really got back in the game uh, yesterday after, well, last night. I, I was kind of like looking for a game to play. I was getting kind of bored, and so couldn't sleep. I'm like, hmm. All right, I'm seeing some things about this game. Let me dive back into it. I remember having fun, and I really forgot why I stopped playing it at the time. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what happened in the springtime of 2017. Um, I can't remember what I did last week, so I uh, really don't know. Maybe I got back. I think I may have gotten back into Farming Simulator 17 at that time, so this game got put on the back burner and kind of forgot about it. So, I mean, I do know about this game a little bit. I mean, my memory is flashing back somewhat. I'm out of stamina. Uh, do I have enough, though, to build a coal smoker yet? No, I need I need some more sand, and I need some more logs. Let me go ahead and eat a banana. Get some stamina back. So, obviously, there is uh, leveling up, I guess, in sandbox mode. Uh, what do I need? I need to gather more stone and glowing embers. That's not a problem. That is not a problem. And I do like there is an autosave. Thank you for that as well. So I don't know how far along we're going to get in this first episode. We're just going to go along and build things as we go. Uh, try to level up. So it looks like as we level up we'll get more stamina and more health. And we'll regen it a little bit faster as well, I do believe. Alright, let me grab my axe. Let's go ahead and find a tree that's not, doesn't have any fruits or anything growing on them. Look out, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. Oh yeah, I also need to gather a rock. So I need to build a pickaxe. What does it create? Uh, where's a stone pick? Uh, I would need a stick. All right, uh, sticks you can gather from these like little bushes here. I should get like three sticks off of this thing, I do believe. Thank you. Let me go to crafting and stone pick. Uh, select and let's build that. That way I can collect a rock. So this over here is um, iron ore right here. So this is where we'll get our stone and iron ore. And this will go in slot number three. Like I said, I'm not too concerned. All right, yeah, I got to cancel that out. Um, I'm not too concerned about being tacked just yet. At least I don't think I shouldn't be too concerned. I just want a stone just because I need that to level up. All right, so there's, I think uh, that's what I needed. So right now I'm just going to place things around where I see fit. And like I said, we can always move things around later on. Alright, so why that's building? Let me go into character mode. What do I need to get level up? Uh, I need five more sand. Well, that's easy enough. We're on the beach. We're waiting for that to be built. So yeah, I was looking at some pictures for Force of Nature 2, so like that, uh, uh, what did we just build? Oh yeah, the coal, the coal, uh, stoker, or smoker. Yeah, that looks a lot better in the updated uh, version of the game that will be coming out when it comes out. Uh, let me go into the bonfire, and we'll collect all of our embers. Perfect. And I think I have enough now to level up, right? Yes, I do. So, let's see, I got 110 health, 60 stamina. So I get 10 of each. And I think I'll regen it a little bit faster as well. Alright, um, wait, what do I, I should probably look to see what I need for next level, because that's always kind of important. Um, so right here, the next level, I need to gain copper coins and gold coins. You get those from killing goblins. So, let me come in here and... So the only thing you can make in here is coal. Uh, I have glowing embers. Let's go ahead. I need to make as much as I can. 
And the ne next thing I want to build will be a blast furnace. So I need stone and sand. Alright, well, we know where to get sand. Let's, so let's get some sand here. And then we'll take our lovely little pickaxe that we have. We'll go back to that iron, iron ore right over there. And hopefully I'll get stone and iron ore at the same time. I probably should show you the map, but the map on this game is not not something to really really look after. So you can see beside me, well I got one iron ore stone and I got two regular stones so far. Well, three regular stone. And a whole bunch of just regular stone. Let me gather, I will show you the map, so this is the way the map kind of looks. Now you're probably thinking, well, you've only been a small area and you've already discovered a lot. Not really, because if I move the mouse around, you can kind of see there's a lot of this map that's just not shown. So, a lot of places to go, for sure. Yeah, so I played maybe, oh, about an hour before I started recording this to get the feel of the game. Started from scratch, and I was doing the leveling up kind of process, or... I had to build things in a certain process. Um, looks like I still got to do it anyways, but at least I can build anything that I want when I want because it's already unlocked. But if I want to get the levels, then I need to build the things in a certain order to get the levels. I was waiting until all my stamina is used up. Alright, so do I have enough to build a blast furnace? I do. So right now, I, what I try to do, and I think I did this years ago when I played the game, is I try to build everything kind of close together for the purpose of... Uh, wait, I want to rotate you like that. Because when I get close, I can hit spacebar that can access the bonfire, the coal smoker, and the blast furnace all without moving around. So that's kind of key. Alright, let me go back in here and look to see what I can build. Stone mace. Was that what I was uh, using before? I think so. As you can see, I can build stone arrows, which means, yes, there is a bow and arrow. Uh, but right now, I think what I want to do is build a stone mace, and I need one stone for that. Well, we can go ahead and do that while that's being built. I got enough stamina back. So at least I'll have a weapon, and then I'll take you out, and we'll try to find some goblins to take on down. And there are animals out there that will attack you as well. Uh, stone mace. Let's go ahead and select that. And build that. Uh, so the next thing I would like to build. Uh, the anvil. I need nails. Do I need the hut? No I don't. So I can build a hut. Now the hut I'm not going to really live in. I need the hut because in order to build the crafting table. The crafting table has to go into a building. And once I put the crafting table inside this hut. There's no room for a bed anywhere. Um, so I need logs. A lot of sticks. And a lot of rope. Uh, whoops, I was going in here. Oh, it's still building that. Still building that. Alright, so let's come on down here. Let's go in here. We'll grab that coal. I didn't really have to move over, but I did. It's called Blast Furnace Recipes. Uh, iron ingot. So, I need glowing ember. Oh, I, I haven't made a melting pot yet. So it does need a tool, I need a melting pot. Where where do I make the melting pot? I forgot. Is it in here? Melting pot. Um, I need clay. Yeah, so some people I saw that were making comments like, oh, it's too grindy to be getting, you know, you gotta go do this, you gotta do that. But you don't have nothing. You're, <laughs> it's a survival game. Uh, they're not gonna give you everything. And really, as you can see, I mean, what am I on here? Where's my timer? I'm at like 25 minutes into, in, into this video right now, and We've already built quite a few things. 
Yes, you don't have a stockpile of everything, but, um... No, this is kind of the way I, you know, I like to kind of work for my things once in a while, so... To me, this is this is fun. Other people may not find it as fun. Other people like to log in the game, just build everything, and just go at it, you know, full hardcore or whatever. Alright, let's go back here and build... Uh, what was I building? Oh, melting pot. There we go. So, like I said, there is an iron... Was it iron melting pot? Building furnace uh, recipes. Steel melting pot. So, basically, the steel melting pot will make the craft things faster than the melting pot itself. So, we just gotta be wait for that to be made. And, like I said, later on... I hope to have a nice house around here, a little bit of a farm going, uh, cows, pigs, and chickens are in the game, yes they are, uh, and a lot of other things. Melting pot complete. Let's go over here and grab our melting pot, we'll take that. Now you can see if I, uh, go to inventory, it shows the melting pot here, but once I come over here to the blast furnace and I do recipes, it will take the melting pot right on out for me. So it says use melting pot, yeah it's the only tool I got. And I only got enough to do one, which is fine. So I will get an iron ingot out of that. Let me come back over here to the bonfire. Uh, glowing embers. Later on, I will be building, like, maybe another fire or two. Because you're always going to have glowing embers going. And then uh, it's always going to have another fire going to either cook meat on or what have you. Um, did I get my... Yes, I did. I got my weapon right over here. Take that, we'll put that on to number one. Alright, so the next, like I said, next level I have, I need 20 uh, copper coins and 10 gold coins. Well, there's only one way to get those that I know of, and that's go out into the world and beat up some goblins. So let's see if I can go find some goblins. Uh, I probably should collect, uh, uh, is there any more bananas and coconuts? The reason why I say that, because I may, I'm going to need it for stamina. Well, we'll just look for it along the way. And I am going to go this way. Uh, try and get the lay of the land. So the, anytime you load the new game up, the lay of the land is going to be different. I'm just trying to see. Because what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to find like the shortest way through the forest. Without having to spend a lot of stamina to cut down a lot of things. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go through here. I need sticks. I need sticks and logs anyway. So it's not going to hurt to go through here, I suppose. Alright, so it is getting a little dark. I don't know how dark this is going to be on YouTube. But probably uh, dark as is. Now, right in front of us, I just see my first goblin. I probably shouldn't make an easier path because the thing is, like I said, they can't go through these uh, bushes either. And by making paths, eventually what, ha what will happen is uh, they can they can find your, their way to your camp if you're not careful. I do apologize if it's really dark, but I really don't have any torches or anything. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just stand here for a while. Uh, one, it'll allow me to get uh, regather my... Uh, stamina back, and two, hopefully it'll get brighter out here eventually, and we can see what we're doing. Uh, panther caps are not good for me, I don't think. Panther caps are poisonous, right? Yeah, minus 20 health. I think that'll be used in alchemy, for sure. I hate how the rabbits sound like footsteps of people. It's not right, man. It's not right at all. Was it this way I was going? Alright, so right down... I'm just trying to look. I don't know how well you can see here. Oh, there's a goblin there as well. But you can kind of see right through the trees there. There is a cow moving around. Now the thing is, I don't want so many goblins coming at me at once here. I see a few here, but not many. I'm also just trying to keep track of... Foxes and wild boars will attack you. And bears. So I just want one at a time. So here comes our first goblin. 
Now he is gonna he is gonna hit us and and hurt us a little bit, but not much to begin with. Oh, I didn't I didn't see that that one there. Hello, little fella, come here. I'm just trying to remember when I played years ago what level I was, and I don't remember. What kind of, uh... Kind of, I forgot what kind of rock that is. Something I don't need yet. Right now, I just want to gather some coins. Uh-oh, I don't want two of them at once, but, uh... Alright. It's a party. Now, the one thing that you can do is go out, attack, and when your health gets low, um, go back to camp. Regen and maybe build some other stuff and gather stuff. A whole bunch of goblins out here. I did see a fox. A fox will attack you. Let me let me come over here and get this guy. And there are better weapons out there, just that um, we haven't uh, discovered them or built them just yet. Ooh, those I want. Those will give me health back, I do believe. Let me go to my inventory and we'll put those down here in our hot bar. Yeah, it'll give me 10 health in 10 seconds. Now, if you die, <laughs> and it's been a while, like I said, I didn't die when I played this a little while ago. Uh, but if you die, you respawn like where we did, it, where we did in the beginning of the game. And I do believe you will keep some of your stuff that's in your inventory, but you may lose some of it as well. Now always look around because sometimes... Sometimes you'll be so focused on one goblin in front of you, you don't see the one beside you or something. Next thing you know, you got three or four attacking you at once. Um, goats. I don't remember goats when I played years ago. Now, the fox is kind of a good thing if you can kill it. The thing is, um, the fox will attack you. Uh, but once its health gets kind of low, it runs away. So, uh, the wild boar will attack you and it will not run away at all. And with them, you'll get, like, hide and stuff, which you can build armor for clothing. I just want the goblin. I don't want... I, I don't want the fox to attack us. Come here, dude. I want you, not the fox. Alright, so how are we doing? Uh, 12 copper, 5 gold. Not bad. Not... Well, that was the fox. And it's one of those things where when you travel around, try to keep your bearings because... You might get lost, I suppose. A whole bunch. So by, by hitting left alt, I can harvest everything around me on the ground and then pick it up with left control. Not many key bindings in the game, but... Yeah, I got a good amount of mushrooms down to give me some regen on, on some health if I need it. So there is a wild boar ahead of us. Off in the distance. Uh, okay, this could be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to attack the fox first because that does more damage to me than anything. Alright, so the fox ran off. And I'm not fast enough to chase the fox down, so I'm not going to bother. Um, the fox will regain its health over time. So, but if you were to get a uh, corner it, that's what I try to do. If you can find a way to corner it, um, that is one way for sure, uh, to get high down. But I'd rather attack the boar and maybe I'll attack it here in a second. Um, once we get enough coins from the goblins. I don't mind attacking this one because see on my left hand side, we got a lot of shrubbery around this. Those goblins can't get through there, so if I get close enough, they're going to have to go all the way around. So you do have to be careful. They are kind of smart. They will find their way around to you if you are close enough. 
Ooh, that one ran away. I'm not used to them running away. Uh, did not know that was a thing. Where'd you go, dude? Where did he go? I'm not sure. Uh, 16 and 7. I mean, he will regain his health and then come back. See if I can find that boar. I hear him. Um, I don't like the bear, though. No, no, no. I, I don't want the bear and the boar at the same time. I got the boar's attention. Yeah, not my ankle. See, they take my health down pretty good. But what did I get out of it? I got uh, two fangs, a pelt, and meat. That's the first time I got meat. Uh, so you can see the screen's getting like a little pixelated. That's because my health is kind of low. Let me go ahead and eat a mushroom. And I'll regain some of our health back. Now, like I said, I don't think the last time I played a game, things do not respawn. So um, it's going to be crucial later on to have farms. So that's where the, the, the farming comes in a little bit. All right, so I need more goblins. Uh, so I need four more bronze coins, uh, copper coins, sorry, and three more gold coins. Now, the thing is, when you level up, if your stamina and health is low, when you level up, you will get uh, full bars on each. I don't like how deep... So the further you get away from your base, the higher the level the goblins and whatnot get. And later on, if I do re if I do remember correctly, I use the bow and arrow a lot to. Uh, well, like if you just want to track one goblin, and they're in a big group, which they can be, uh, you can use your bow and arrow hit one goblin, and only that one goblin will attack you, so you can take them down one at a time. So let me go around. I want to try to gather. I got enough gold coins. Really, it's the, usually it's the copper ones you get no problem. And the gold ones are an issue. Uh, let me go around here and let me gather some more... Um, some more coins here. Then we'll head back. I almost said head back to base, but head back to... Head back to our, our base. I guess it is a base. I don't have a farm or anything yet. Uh, we'll head back home. And uh, we'll start building some, th some more things. There's a rooster ahead of us, but I don't need a rooster. I need coins. Oh, wait. I got them. Never mind. Oh, uh, okay. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, character. Next level. Get level. Perfect. Um, what do I need for next level? I need 10 gold coins. Really. Um, that's fine. I'm going to see if I can find my way back home in the dark. And maybe we'll build one more thing and probably wrap up the episode there. If I can find my way back home. Actually, while I'm here and I got a limited full stamina. It was actually this one right here. I was kind of curious what this rock was. Um, I forgot what the other ore is. And this is... This is pretty good ore if I remember correctly here. If I can... I cannot see a darn thing either. So where I can barely see myself. So you're probably seeing a black screen. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to mine the heck out of this stone. And uh, I'll meet you back... <laughs> Meet you back at the beach, and uh, we'll see what else we can probably build. Maybe an anvil might be good. Alright, found my way back to the beach. Um, I wasn't where I thought it was. I started going the wrong way, and I looked at the map. So the one thing on the map, it's kind of hard to see because I'm standing there, but there's like little red dots, kind of like where my triangle is, and that's kind of showing me where some of the stuff I built was. I was actually way over here. I was like, where the heck am I? I found the beach, and like, oh, I'm not in the right area here. Uh, but I do have enough to build ourselves an anvil. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I forgot to build myself um, some iron ingots. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this in here. I can do three of them. So the other thing is, like, if I go in here, I that rock I was banging on, uh, that was tin. So I have enough tin, but one thing is, I can't craft nothing. Uh, not, not because I don't have coal, but you only, you only can craft one thing at a time. So um, that's why in the future we'll have, like, multiple fireplaces... And uh, uh, blast furnaces and whatnot. So I'm just going to wait until 
I can get one more ingot, and we can build an anvil. Uh, the one, the reason why I want to build an anvil next is because in the anvil, I can then build a better axe and a pick, and I do believe a shovel as well will just make the process of gathering things much easier. So now the only thing I got to be kind of careful of is I made some pathways now out to the wilderness. So now um, the goblins can kind of find their way to my camp if they wanted to. Uh, I don't know how genius they are anyways, but uh, who knows. Uh, so the anvil, yeah, I'll just place that right there. Um, the one thing I do need, where do I build that? Wooden tongs. I need wooden tongs. Uh, I need some rope. Alright, uh, hang on a second. Uh, rope. Uh, I can build a few pieces of rope. Let's just go with five for now. And the good thing about when you're building things, you can still walk around and whatnot. Now, this is grab. I gotta cancel that in order to grab that. Fine. Uh, wait, now I can build the wooden tongs, right? Yes, select select. It's good to kind of know what you need before you start using something, so. Uh, but the one thing I do love about the game is that, uh, yeah, you could, you can move these things around, so right now, I'm just placing them anywhere, but once we start getting a formidable, shall I call it a dynasty, uh, <laughs> around here, um, yeah, we can, we can start putting things where we want. I mean, I'm putting them where I want now, but I can move them later on without losing anything, which is really, really nice. All right, so we got my got my tongs. Yeah, the next thing I want to build is the hut, but I'd rather go around and gather materials. Uh, that noise I never do like. Uh, so yeah, you got your copper pick, you got your iron picks, uh, steel picks. So do I want it to go copper, or what does it take to build an iron pick? Iron ingots. That's it. Uh, hammer. I don't have a hammer. Um, damage is 25 with an iron pick. A copper pick damage is 17. Well, I, I, I am going to have enough iron, so I just got to build a hammer. So I think what we'll do is um, I'll gather some more iron and we'll go ahead and build an iron pick. Uh, first thing, because... Yeah, I need to go around bang on more rocks, and that will do uh, much easier. Then we can build a, a nice little axe. It'll save us some stamina on cutting down trees, and a shovel for gathering that. Do I have enough now to build? I'm just trying to see, because I, I was going, like I said, I was playing before. What do I need to build? Oh, wow, I need a lot. Actually, that's not a lot of stuff to build one of these. Uh, too bad I can't see how, how large it is. Hmm. I think what we'll probably do next episode is just build a hut of branches. I just need logs and ropes, which I can easily do that. And that way I can put a crafting table in there. And it, it, it won't be bad to have a couple of houses. Um, but yeah, we got along pretty well today. Uh, I, I don't know what level I am. doesn't really matter. Uh, it just gives us more health and stamina or whatnot. Um, but we got ourselves a bonfire. We got ourselves a coal smoker, uh, a blast furnace, and an anvil. Like I said, I'm going to go around, gather some iron, uh, make some more iron ingots. Uh, we'll forge then some iron pickaxes. Uh, maybe, sorry, uh, pick, uh, what, wait, the, uh, the mm -hmm, words, all those words. Uh, an iron, yeah, an iron pick. I said iron pickaxe. Uh, then an iron axe. What, what, what do I need to make a, what is steel? I forgot how to make steel in this thing here. Uh, steel ingot is iron and tin. I can just go right for that. I do have iron and tin. How much iron and tin do I need? And then there's steel. Hmm. I need two. No, that, that's wrong. Uh, uh, steel. Steel. Come on. Think, think right here. Steel pick. I just need two of them. And it's 35 damage. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, well, you know what? I think what I'll do is in between episodes, I'm going to go around. I need to gather some iron anyways. Uh, maybe venture around this a little bit. 
I'll do some gathering. And then when we come back for next episode, we'll do a lot of building. Well, I say a lot of building. Uh, I don't know how much building we'll do, but we'll definitely gather up some more. Uh, do some more adventuring. Go out and gather some more then as well. Um, but uh, let me know if you are liking what you're seeing. If you want to see more, uh, likes and comments uh, always do help. Let people know that uh, you're enjoying what you're seeing and that you want to see more. I also need to gather some more bananas and coconuts so I can gather stamina up uh, a little bit more around adventure. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you right here next time in Force of Nature. But until then, have a good one. All right, let me grab my pickaxe and get back to work, I guess. I got a lot of stone to cut. Or chip. Or something. <laughs>